This is a quick demo of the Notary Live integration. It is the same exact process as uploading a document and sending it out for signature. A Foxit user will now upload a document and when they decide to add signers, they can now select to connect with a notary. The Foxit user has to be a part of the notarization process. However, they can add another signer who can also sign and get the document notarized as well. It is on our roadmap for the Foxit user to facilitate a session for someone else. As of right now, that Foxit user has to be a part of the process. Here, the Foxit user, in this case John Smith, will review the document. He can add or edit the document or add and edit signers. The Connect page explains what the following steps with Notary Live will look like. John Smith will then get taken to Notary Live's integration. If there is another signer a part of the notarization process, here he will mark the status of that signer. So if Erica were marked present, that means she's in person and will join the session with him on the same device. If she is signing separately, then she will receive an email to join her own session to notarize the same document. Here, John Smith can add text fields if needed before meeting with a notary. The Foxit user who initiates the session will also make a payment through Notary Live. This allows Foxit users, regardless of their eSign plan, to access this integration. Next, John Smith will upload his ID. Whether that's a driver's license, passport, or any other ID card. And he'll need to answer four to five KBA questions. When the notary is ready, he will connect through a video call. Once he meets with the notary, the notary will confirm his identity. Once it's accepted, John Smith will need to add his signature and sign the document. The notary will then add their seal and John Smith can approve any edits. Once he approves, the session is done and the document is notarized. John Smith can either download the document from there if he were the only signer. If he downloads the document, then he will see the notary seal. For demo purposes, this is a document that was used in the video session. The Foxit user can also go back to Foxit and download the document from there. Again, this is for demo purposes, but if this were the document and there were multiple signers, then John Smith could check the status of each of those signers. So Erica, who is signing separately, will receive an email. And from here, she will complete her notarization process and sign the same document at her own convenience. 